Hi there! Today I'm going to make one of my favorite things peanut butter and bacon because I love bacon meatloaf! Peanut butter and bacon meatloaf. You heard me. First time you're ever going to see it but you'll see it from now on because it's going to be delicious. Okay? Let me show you how easy it is to make. Just make a meatloaf. Okay? Come here. I'll make a meatloaf. I have my ingredients here. I have two pounds of ground beef. Big jar of Skippy peanut butter. I'm not going to need all that. One egg, some breadcrumbs, some minced onion, and of course, bacon. Plus some Worcestershire sauce. You can make your meatloaf however you're used to making meatloaf. I'm going to form it on this parchment paper so it's a little neater and easier to work with. I'm going to put the bacon and the peanut butter aside right now. We're going to make the meatloaf. How you like to make your meatloaf. I like garlic and onions and all kinds of stuff in my meatloaf, but I'm not sure if that was going to go good with peanut butter. But definitely hamburger and bacon is going to go with peanut butter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's going to be a nice sized meatloaf. Hands are clean, just wash them up. I make my meatloaf all different ways. I use breadcrumbs, I use one egg for this amount, some minced onion, salt and pepper, but just salt today. Breadcrumbs, whatever kind you happen to have. These are these kind, seasoned. And you can add more towards the end if you think you're going to need it. A little Worcestershire share, just a little bit. One egg. And start mixing this all up. This is the one part. Oh, let me preheat my kasori toaster oven over there. I'm going to wash my hands again. Hang on, let me wash my hands. I'm going to preheat that oven. Hello, mate. You're making me crazy. Plug it in, plug it in. I got the sorry over there. Right there. This is a kasori. Broiler, toaster, pizza oven, air fryer, does everything. I'm going to put it on bake for 350. Start, preheat. I'm going to bake this meatloaf for about an hour. Okay. But we're going to check the temperature when it's almost an hour. We want 165 degrees for ground meat. Where was I? Oh yeah, right here. Swami. Swami. What do you want in your meatloaf? <laughs> Stay together. I've been making meatloaf since I was about 12 years old. Because I like it. Definitely like it. I'm gonna mess anyway, aren't I? What was that noise? When I think I have it mixed together good enough, I think that's enough of everything. A little more breadcrumbs, maybe? A little bit. A little bit. Get another hunk of parchment paper and a baking pan. When I get my meatloaf looking good, I'm going to put it on there. Meatloaf, meatloaf. It's going to be a big one. See? <coughs> I'm 
Make a giant meatball. What do you think of this? Hmm? You like it? We're gonna bake it like that. And at the end, that's when the magic is gonna start. Okay. <laughs> Does it look good? Perfect meatloaf. My oven's still preheating. I might change the parchment paper when I add the peanut butter and bacon. When it's done, I'm gonna let peanut butter melt on there. I'm gonna wrap strips of bacon around it and put it in the broiler for as long as it takes to get that bacon crunchy. You like that idea? All right, when we hear the, the thing of the preheating over there, we know we're ready. There's the preheating. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my hands off again. I can't stop playing with it. You gonna be all right? Towels, got bacon pot holders, got a bacon apron. Let's go over here. I'm gonna set it for an hour. Put it on the middle rack. 30 minutes. I'm gonna set it for one hour. <laughs> Just put it in. Okay. That's in there. One hour. There we go. Alright, let me clean up my counter a little bit. Get ready for the peanut butter topping. It's gonna be so good. Hang on. Gonna have some? Gonna make some? Make it with me. So easy. You got peanut butter and bacon, right? We could even make a cheeseburger like this. What do you think of that? Peanut butter, bacon, cheeseburger? I like that idea too. I guess we don't need the breadcrumbs or the Worcestershire sauce anymore. Can't wait though. I'm starting to smell it cook already. It's halfway done. Look at it. Looking good. 32 minutes left. Looking real good. Okay, there's like a minute left there. You should see how it looks now. <laughs> it's puffed up pretty good. Look at it. <laughs> it's hot. Look at that. <laughs> it's like a football. I'm going to take the temperature of it. Here's my fancy thermometer. We went 165. Right in the middle. Oh, here we go. Come on. A little bit more. That's an hour. 161. A little bit longer. Five more minutes, okay? Start. Restart. You can make this in your regular oven too. I'm just using this because it's handy and it won't heat up the whole house. Okay, I'm gonna go five, maybe 10 minutes more. Make sure it's 165. It's close enough, but it's gonna be good. All right, check it again. It's been about another nine minutes. Ooh, it's hot in there. 167, 68, I like it. Turn it off for now. The next step will be broil. But let's get it out of here. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, it smells so good. Sure does. You see it okay? Yeah. Oh, look at that meatloaf. Mmm. I'm going to transfer it to another piece of parchment paper so I can work with the bacon. You'll see. Watch. <laughs> watch what I do. Spatula. Juicy. There we go. Okay, you settle down there a little bit. Let's clean this. Easy cleanup. That's what I like about parchment paper. Keeps the pan pretty clean, and I'll put another sheet down there when I go back in for the broiling step. I want to put the peanut butter on while it's nice and hot. So it melts on there, okay? Watch this. This is the fun part. 
Gippy peanut butter. Woo, new jar. Taste it. Start with a peanut butter knife. Look at the juice in there. This is gonna melt on here. This jar is only for meat, okay? So don't worry about it. Melt. It's melting! Now when I see this on TV next month or in a magazine, make sure you mention my name, okay? Okay? Let that rest for a second. Let me open my bacon. I've got my bacon back there all ready to go. This is a mega pack. 22 ounces of bacon. Wow. You know I like bacon. Ooh, the peanut butter's dripping off the sides. So I get another piece of parchment paper for my pan for the broiling. It's really starting to melt pretty good. <laughs> Bacon time! I could have made a bacon weave and weave this whole thing in bacon like I did a few other things, but I'm just gonna do this. And each slice is gonna have a nice piece of bacon or more. Is that enough? Ooh, that pan's still hot. As I pick this up with my spatulas, the bacon's gonna fold underneath. See? Fold underneath. <laughs> and going in the broiler now. Oh! Come on! How's it look so far? Pretty good? Yes! Switch the mode of my oven to broil. Broil. Preheat. 450 degrees. I'm going to put it on the same middle rack because broil is on top. We want crispy bacon here. Or at least crunchy. Peanut butter, bacon, meatloaf. And we're going to top it with peanut butter. Let that preheat, and I'm going to broil it until I think it's crispy. Okay, the preheat beep bleeped. Look at that. Can you hear it sizzle? All right, get crunchy. Oh, remember there's peanut butter in there. I was just talking to Eddie. What's up, Eddie? Yeah, I went to New York a few times. I went back in the 70s. I went a bunch of different times. One time my daughter was a soloist at Carnegie Hall. Do you believe that? Isn't that amazing? So proud of her. Ask me about Bethlehem. Bethlehem's all right. You know, it's a big city. It's like Allentown, if you know Allentown. Probably don't know that either, though, right? <laughs> I'm sure they got Christmas packages. That's cool. Nice talking to you, Eddie. You don't like this? Mm -hmm. I hope it comes out good. We're going to get it crunched up a little more. I can hear the sizzle. I don't know if you can. A couple more minutes. I just sent Eddie a picture of that. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> it's not crunchy yet, though. <laughs> you can have this with mashed potatoes, you think? Uh, I like to think I might like to have it in a roll. Imagine that. Peanut butter, bacon, meatloaf sandwich. Mm. <laughs> Sizzle up, get crunchy, come on. Well, there's four nice strips of bacon. That'd be four nice slices of meatloaf, wouldn't it? Everybody gets a slice of bacon. Mm -hmm. Oh, peanut butter and bacon meatloaf. Something I always wanted to eat. Oh, peanut butter and bacon meatloaf. I'll make it the next time we meet. Getting crispy like a critter. <laughs> Stop looking at it. I think I'm going to turn off the heat now. What do you think? Yes. And we're gonna let it rest for a few minutes. I'm getting it out. 
Here we go. Oh! Oh, hear that sizzle. It's not sizzling either. <laughs> Focus. Hocus pocus, there it is. Remember, when you put this on your show or your magazine, just mention my name, okay? While that's resting, I'm gonna make some peanut butter gravy. Peanut butter's in there, it's all toasted up. You saw me put it on. In the gravy boat. <laughs> Put this in the microwave for about one minute. Want to lick the spoon? I do. Microwave. One minute. Are you excited? That's resting. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's so beautiful. I'm already planning how I'm gonna slice it. Like I said, everybody gets one slice of bacon. I might take that middle piece, because I can. The time has come. I'm gonna transfer it to a fancy eating plate. Peanut butter gravy. Ready for the PS de resistance? Look at that. Just look at it. What do you think? Is it beautiful? Remember, I planned how I'm going to cut this. Ooh, which piece did I want? Now it's covered. I can't tell. I think I want this piece in the middle. But let's just cut it. Let's see what happens. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like peanut butter melted on bacon. Look. I wanted this piece. That's what I want right there. Now, how should I eat this? A big hunk of bread? I have hot dog rolls. I don't know, I just might enjoy it just like this. Let's see. See, I got rolls here. I think that's too big for a roll though. Just put it on a plate and enjoy it. How do I eat it? Hmm? Crunch? Listen to it. Some crunchy bacon? Serve this with whatever side you like, or, like I said, put it on a big piece of bread. I might have one of them cold leftover on bread. Big bread. First taste. A little more. A little more gravy. Crunchy, hot. Oh boy. Mm. I'm in heaven. So delicious. Mm. The bacon is still crunching. And the peanut butter makes it also smooth. Mmm. Mmm.
I'm going to take a picture of that. You going to make this for fun? At least wrap it in bacon. <laughs> Pour cheese over top if you like. How's that? I'll send this to my friend. <laughs> Owen doesn't have a friend! Another honk. Crunchy, listen. Oh, I just want to hold it together. There we go. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Make this. You don't have to use a little toaster oven. You can use your big oven if you want. But try it. It's delicious. Oh, so good. Mmm. Yeah, butter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm.